September 11th edition of News in Them. First up, Henry's cousin's murder for suspects released on station bail tree still in custody. Here is that report. As the police probe continues into the gruesome murder of Joel and Isaiah Henry, the police have since released four of the suspects on station bail. In a release to the media on Thursday, Royce and Andrews, Assistant Commissioner of Police and Public Relations Officer of the Guyana Police Force, said the men were released after the 72 hours had expired. He said the suspects are to report to the station this morning. Teenage cousins Joel and Isaiah were found in the back dam at Cotton Tree, West Coast Babies, with chopped wounds. The post-mortem examination revealed that Joel had 18 wounds and his neck was severed. Both Isaiah's and Joel's spines were severed. Police from the Major Crimes Unit from the city are currently doing their investigations and are looking for clues to crack the case. The killing of the young men in such a heartless manner has rocked the country and has led to widespread protests. On the west coast of Babis, residents blocked the road as they demanded justice. The post-mortem examination performed on the body of 17-year-old Harris Singh revealed that he died from brain hemorrhage and blunt trauma to the head, compounded by compression injuries to the neck. The PM was performed by government pathologist Dr. Nial Singh at the Memorial Gardens funeral home in the cemetery this morning. Singh was found murdered in the back dam of Number 3 Village, West Coast Babies. He was found with a wound to his head, and his motorcycle was also burnt. According to a police report, the force wishes to go on record to say that it will pursue the investigation of Harris Singh with the same intensity it did with Joel and Isaiah Henry, and will most certainly bring the perpetrators to justice. More news after this break. Shh. It's your new secret. The all-in-one weapon for perfecting imperfections and capturing flawless skin. A lot of brands forget women of color or just don't understand that we come in all shades. From caramel to ebony, there's such a range. Iman Cosmetics is for every woman and features a line of skincare products and cosmetics including 16 foundation shades, powder, concealer, lipstick, blush, eyeshadow, highlighter and BB cream. Visit us at lot 75 Swamp Section, Rosal Town. That's behind the market. Or call 337-4422 or 688-9249. Shh. Opposition leader Joseph Harmon today condemned statements made by President Irfan Ali. Harmon described those statements as irresponsible and false. There are no known police reports of any rape associated with recent protest actions. Yet, Mr. Ali, in his statement, among other charges, said, raping people's children has nothing to do with justice. What rape, Mr. Ali? This is a figment of your speech writer's imagination. You may be entitled to your own opinion, but not to your own facts. Your baseless see branding protesters as rapists. It is disrespectful, contemptuous, and an expression of disdain for those Guyanese who are outraged at the heinous killing of Isaiah and Joel Henry, and most recently, Harish Singh and Chattapal Haripal. Mr. Ali's statement about children being raped is patently and wholly false. Harman said the spectrum of rape has been consistently misused by the People's Progressive Party to fear monger and incite the public towards hostility. We recall the shouts of rape, rape in the National Assembly by a PPP member of Parliament, Neen Kumar, on the 11th of December 2017, when nothing of that sort happened. We also now recall a statement by Brigadier Mark Phillips on Trinidad TV, also speaking about rape. 
These acts belittles the actual rape victims and minimizes their trauma and pain when in fact no such action took place. At a time when the nation requires calm, caring, and unifying leadership, Mr. Ali's statement defiles the presidency and actual victims of rape and being consumed in laying blame. He said the coalition party has issued several statements condemning violence in all its forms. And I, as leader of the opposition and other AP and UAFC leaders, have visited with the families of the victims to offer condolences and provide support, while also visiting numerous communities on the west coast of Babis and the east coast of Demerara and on calling on citizens to respect the rights of other citizens, refrain from any violence while they engage in lawful protest action. Another dangerous extension of the statement is Mr. Ali's signal that the PBP regime is planning to expand the empowerment of institutions of the state to take action against political opponents. This is evident in his call for the Ethnic Relations Commission to target me. We have seen in just over a month of the PP regime, the indiscriminate use of the police force against political opponents and ordinary citizens. President Ali, in an address to the nation yesterday, said raping people's children, robbing people, trampling upon others' rights, beating people, damaging property of innocent people, has nothing to do with justice. It is selfish, destructive, and a flagrant disregard for the rule of law and the rights of people. However, in a modified statement, there was no mention of the rapes, which were in the earlier statement. To date, the Ghana police forces to say whether it received reports of rape and where they occurred. What was mentioned by the police were reports of robberies and attacks on motorists. Shh. It's your new secret. The all-in-one weapon for perfecting imperfections and capturing flawless skin. A lot of brands forget women of color or just don't understand that we come in all shades. From caramel to ebony, there is such a range. Iman Cosmetics is for every woman and features a line of skincare products and cosmetics including 16 foundation shades, powder, concealer, lipstick, blush, eyeshadow, highlighter and BB cream. Visit us at Lot 75 Swamp Section, Rosal Town. That's behind the market. Or call 337-4422 or 688-9249. Shh. President Irfan Ali today visited the grieving relatives of the three teenage boys who were killed in the Baghdad at Cotton Tree on the west coast of Babis. Joel and Isaiah Henry were found dead in the Baghdad on Sunday by residents. Then on Wednesday, Harris Singh was found with a wound to his head in the same Baghdad. His motorcycle was also burnt. Singh was said to be the grandson of one of the suspects in the murder of the two cousins. There are reports that Isaiah and Harish are friends and they would normally work together in the same number three village, Baghdad. During the visit this morning, the president assured family members that his government would bring those involved to justice. Meanwhile, Glasson Henry has dismissed reports that his son was involved in a gang and his killing may be gang related. In a telephone interview with this newscast, Henry said his son, Isaiah, and Harish are known to each other. So, I mean, about this gang, we got, we got in the gang. He said he found it strange that people would make such statements. Joel and Isaiah will be buried on Sunday. 
And that has brought us to the end of our news for tonight. For these and other stories, visit our website at rdproductiongy.com or our Facebook and Instagram page at Royce and Drinks Production. On behalf of our news team, thank you for joining us and join us again Monday for our news. Good night.